Do you deliver to Streeterville? We do not do delivery. That's weird. Who doesn't do delivery? It's 2020. Everyone does delivery. Especially during COVID. I don't even get that. Okay. How come? You can run the numbers and tell me if it makes financial sense. To us, it doesn't. Whoa, was not expecting that. Shots fired. Someone woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Let's nail this guy. What are we going to say about him? I mean, I guess we could offer him some help with operations or marketing or something. Yeah, let me say that. If you need help with your marketing, let me know. Uh, thank you for the offer. Fuck this guy. The Wing and Seltzer Show. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the Wing and Seltzer Show. We're here with another episode. Episode four of the Wing and Seltzer Show. We got the Wing King. We got the Seltzer God. Today, we're going to be reviewing Landbirds. So I got a lot of requests to try Landbirds. Landbirds is Korean lollipop wings. I personally love Asian food. I love lollipop wings. So I'm really excited. This place opened up a year and a half ago. It's got a lot of hype. Lots of good ratings on Yelp. So let's wing it. Let's wing it. All right, so they gave us these gloves to wear while we're eating, but I don't think we're going to need them for the mild. Probably just throw them on for the spicy tiger. Like, is it to keep it from touching your face? Or maybe yeah, it's so I, spicy? I, maybe it's so spicy that... It burns your hand? It burns your hand. You know what? Fuck it. I'll put them on now. Fuck it. We'll put them on now. Always use protection. <laughs> so they have one flavor, but then they have different levels of spiciness. So they got their mild, their medium, tiger, then spicy tiger. We'll start it off with their mild. Right. Cheers. Lollipop wings. Landbirds. Mmm. Wow. This is unreal. That is stupidly good. Mild, but just the right amount of zing. Sweet, tangy, and you know, the thing is about lollipop wings, they hold that crisp a little bit better. Something about putting all the meat up at the end and deep frying that just keeps it crispy. I feel like it's got like a little bit of tempura type batter to it, like a light tempura dip. And I mean, this sauce is unreal. Yeah, these are just straight fire. I could eat these all day. Oh my God. This is only the mild. And I'm a big yeah. spice guy, so I can't wait to get to the next flavors. I can handle a little bit more spice than this. Oh yeah, for sure. Time to mess up some mediums. Damn, this looks so good. Let's get some extra sauce. Yeah. We keep it saucy here on the Wing and Seltzer Show. Cheers, brother. Cheers. Medium, Landbirds. I got a real crispy one. So this is real crispy too. I was having trouble ripping yeah. it. It's so crispy. Yeah, the, the first one was definitely easier off the bone. This one's still really good. Very crispy. Extra crispy. It comes with a little bit of white rice. It's Everyone a loves a good jasmine white rice. It's got a little bit of seaweed and sesame seed on it. I don't know if there's like sesame oil or teriyaki sauce, but it's a good little addition. Really good rice. Good to uh, pad the stomach. Clean you know? the palate with some rice, you know? It's almost like the equivalent to ginger when you're eating sushi. Yeah. Definitely the same thing. And you know what also goes great is a little CBD action. Speaking of CBD. Episode four of the Wing and Seltzer Show is brought to you by Recess CBD Seltzers. Stay calm, cool, collected. Good for the mind, body, soul. Go get yours today. Here we go. Tiger wings. I can feel the heat on my hand. Here, what are you doing over there? You saw extra sauce on there. I respect that. I felt like he was leaning on me again. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta lean on a brother, you know? Yeah, we're leaning on. We're brothers over here. This is yeah. what we do. If things get a little spicy, you gotta lean on a brother. Yeah. Just brothers crushing wings and serves. What else is new? <laughs> Alright, cheers. Tiger uh, Landbirds. Cheers. Cheers. So good. So good. So good. Oh my god, dude. This one's way better than the last one. We're definitely starting to bring the heat. Not too bad though. This is what probably I would order if you just walk into a restaurant. You see mild, medium, or tiger. Obviously, you're going with tiger. Tiger? It's a cool name for a wing. I mean, yeah, a tiny bit more spice, but for somebody who loves spicy food like me, it's not a big difference. He's a tough guy. So Landbirds. I like the name because obviously chicken is a land bird and they're selling chicken wings. Like, where do these wings come from? Ostrich is a land bird. There's like a flamingo wing. Oh, a dodo. Those are extinct. That's a dope bird. Something about having bird in the actual name kind of grosses me out. Right? I mean, these birds are just straight off the land. <laughs> All right, last but not least, Spicy Tiger. This one I was looking forward to because we like to keep it hot and spicy around here. We like to keep it hot and spicy here on the Wing and Seltzer Show. So we got the spicy tiger from Lambert's lathered in the sauce. Let's see how spicy they are. Cheers. It's 
It's not that spicy. Weak sauce. So these wings were about as good as it gets. Honestly, I've had a ton of wings in my life and I've had a ton of Korean lollipop wings. Lambert's landed at the top of our list. Lambert's, you really outdid yourself tonight. It's always good to see a local business do their thing. We support all local businesses in Chicago. And that's one of the reasons why we even made this show is because we want to show love to a lot of the restaurants out there, especially those who are doing it right, like Lambert's. I'm very confident with each one of these bites that I'm eating good quality meat. That's very important. Some of the other places I'm like, all right, is this chicken or is this something else? I don't know. Is is this chicken? We use mainly bats. What? But the consistency, oh, perfect quality, crisp. The spice might have lacked in certain areas. And these gloves are just more of a cute gimmick, I think. This has to be more for the COVID side of things. There's no way that they're giving you these for the spice. If this is just to keep us clean, I respect you, but give us two, because my left hand is sticky as shit. Your sauce is spilling everywhere. And lastly, Who's ever running the social media at Lambert's, drink a recess, get some CBD, and chill the fuck out because your wings are good and people will pay for delivery, so it does make sense financially. It doesn't make sense to not do delivery. You might as well offer it. All right, Wing King, you know what time it is. Tell the people, does Lambert's live up to the hype? Lambert's does live up to the hype. It's as good as it gets for a Korean lollipop restaurant. Crisp, the flavor, overall, I can't even imagine a better wing. I mean, the only thing I deduct points on is the fact it could have been a little bit spicier. And the social media manager, it's kind of a prick. Besides that, Lambert's, you're killing it. Keep it up. It's a 4.7. There you have it. Wing review number two. Lambert Chicago, a 4.7 out of five stars. The Wing King and Seltzer God have spoken. We out.